What's up, guys? This is Mr. Mall 100. Welcome to a game called McFarland's Evil Prophecy. It's, uh, I think it's a 2004 game, um, for the PS2, from Konami. Um, it's kind of a tongue-in-cheek game, not the best graphics or nothing, it's just kind of a fun hack-and-slash type of game. Um, so let's get started. In the late 19th century, Europe was in the midst of a crisis. Unexplained phenomena were being reported all across the continent. In the mountains, people attacked by wolves were driven mad, becoming savage beasts themselves. So we've got werewolves to deal with, pretty easy to decipher there. In the Atlantic, military vessels, merchant ships, and civilian boats all began to mysteriously vanish. In parts of Germany, fear of mysterious kidnaps, kidnappings and disappearances kept terrified villagers trapped in their homes. Finally, when reports from Northern Africa told of dead rising, rising from their graves, many believed it to be the end of the world. So we've got zombies, werewolves, and Bermuda Triangle shit. Good to know. The governments of Europe tried to control the situation through the use of elite searching investigation units specifically created to deal with an unexplained phenomenon. However, all of their best efforts ended in failure. In other words, everybody died. Meanwhile, on the countryside of Germany, a man was watching the developing situation with great interest. His name was Dr. Hans Jaeger, so he's German. Uh, yeah, they said that. Uh, a wealthy scientist whose research into electricity manipulation had made him a preeminent figure in the academic community. To Hans, the bizarre headlines in the newspapers were all too familiar. It was many years earlier that Hans came to possess a most peculiar book. The book was filled with bizarre verses of broken poetry telling of the fall of mankind and the dawn of an eternal age of darkness. At the time, Hans dismissed the book as nothing more than an old collection of mythic poetry. But now, as headline after headline echoed the contents of the century's old tome, even Hans could not deny that there was more to the old book than simple myths and legends. It was a prophecy. Title of the game! What's more, is that if current events were to continue on a path outlined by the evil prophecy, then all of humanity would soon be doomed. Again, title of the game. Shaken by this prospect, Hans immediately called upon his various contacts in the governments and tapped into the financial resources to assemble a team of monster hunters. Three warriors were selected for their unique balance of skill and power. So you're going to send three people to save the world from zombies and werewolves. Great job. The first warrior was Logan Blackheart, a notorious pirate who recently lost a ship to one of the unexplained incidents in the Atlantic. Thirsty for revenge and longing to return to the sea, Logan agreed to cooperate with Hans in exchange for a new si ship uh, and a chance to, ven to avenge his lost shipmates. Next, there was Delphine de Soros, a skilled marksman from the mountain of France. Her father and brother were among the first killed by a werewolf while hunting here near a mountain home. In exchange for revenge and money to support herself and her mother, Delphine agreed, agreed to help Hans in his battle against evil. Finally, there was Sandano, a noble warrior and a shaman from the jungles of Africa. Not interested in money, Sandano agreed to fight simply to free his people from the curse of the evil voodoo queen and restore balance to the world. Good guy! I like him! Not an asshole. With the help of these three brave warriors, Hans swore to put an end to the evil prophecy once and for all. So it's these three and Hans that are going to fight werewolves, zombies, and disappearing ships in the ocean. This is not going to go well. I'm calling it right now. Uh, the frames per second dropped really quickly. Old man, what's going on here? Who are these people? Of course, how careless of me. Allow me to introduce you. This lovely young lady is Miss Delphine de Soros. She looks nothing like they portrayed her in the opening cutscene. And that is Mr. Sandano. Again, he looks nothing like they portrayed him in the opening cutscene. Both of you, I'd like you to meet Mr. Logan Blackheart. Again, he, he's fatter than they just showed him. That's not what I meant. He's an asshole. The only I want to know is why I'm in the same room with a little girl and a tourist. Huh? You're a rude one, aren't you? I'm a werewolf hunter here at the request of Dr. Hans. 
That's my female voice, in case you didn't know. I am also here at the request of Dr. Yaga's request. Oh, I read that horribly. I have traveled many miles from Africa as a warrior to fight evil. I am no Taurus. You're still a Taurus, because you're a foreigner. Old man, I don't have time to play house with these two. If we're done here, I'm leaving. I'll be back after I've killed all of those monsters. So, he's a badass, too. Logan, just listen for a minute. I s oh, no, he's German. I'm not good with German accents, so I'm just gonna make him British. He's telling you all that now. I selected both of them because they will make excellent partners. Well, you're the one with the gold, so do whatever you want. But if they're coming along, I'll need to charge extra for babysitting and sightseeing. You should learn to shut your mouth, barbarian. Otherwise, you might get hurt. If I were you, I'd also watch my back. You see, she, I, I can't do a badass female voice. You never know when you might just end up with a bullet in your head. I do the sexy female voice, you know. What the hell did you say? Now, now, this isn't the, the time or place to, for a fight. Save that anger for when you're fighting the monsters. You need not worry, I do not fight petty battles. What is our first mission? There are a great number of wolves and wolfmen near here. Their leader, the werewolf, will be our first target. They're all werewolves! There isn't one werewolf, they're all werewolves and wolfmen and shit. <sighs> but I believe that Delphine has more knowledge than I do concerning this topic. I like his... Unlike his minions, the werewolf can't be killed by normal means. Luckily for us, my family knows his only weakness. I'll send him to hell using my silver bullets. Well, it's a little early for that. First of all, let's warm up by killing all of those cursed wolves. Just sit here and drink your tea, old man. We'll be back in no time. See? Tea! I knew he was British. What are you talking about? I'm coming with you. What? I'm gonna make her a lesbian. Fuck it. You must be joking. Sorry, but an old man like you would just get in the way. In my country, we respect the wishes of our elders. But I will not allow a normal person to needlessly expose themselves to danger. There's no need to worry. I have the power of science on my side. Power of science? She also has a lisp as long as she's out. As long as I'm doing her voice. Look at that turning animation. Electricity, to be precise. Whatever. Let's just get out of here already. I'm sick of all this talking. I need a better emulator. Ugh, the FPS dropped a lot. There we go. See? Very, very slow. I might not do another one of these. In fact, I probably won't do another one of these if it continues to be this slow. Kinda hard to play a game when, uh, everything you do is really slow. Old man, what is this place? Some kind of old graveyard. This is the epicenter of all the unusual activity being reported in the newspapers lately. These stone monuments are dedicated to an ancient band of wise men who, according to legend, saved the world from darkness ages ago. It is said that the forces of evil were sealed away by their power. Till this day, there are people in these parts who tell stories of the four great sages, the wisest and most powerful of those wise men. Legend has it that these four sages were able to gain mastery over each of the four cardinal elemental magics. However, their memory has faded with the flow of time. These days, there are but a few who know the story. The ancient status statues are now nothing more than symbols of good fortune said to watch over and protect travelers in the area. In any case, we haven't much time. There are many... There, there may be clues here. 
that can help us to solve the puzzle of these strange incidents. Let's investigate, shall we? I feel something. These statues have great power. They're trying to tell us something. It looks like there's something carved into the statue's base. Let's take a look. Really, really slowly, because my FPS is horrible. Wielders of the four ancient magics, seek the four great sages. If truly you have been chosen, they shall open their hearts to you. How pathetic. Turn the camera really slowly and go this way. I speak, I wish to speak, speak, speak with the warrior of lightning. I have no idea which one I am, so... I wish to speak with the warrior of Yeah, that's definitely not me. Again, not me. Gotta be the last one, right? Fire? I'm the warrior of fire? Oh, I have a peg leg! <laughs> Welcome, warrior flame and companion's bowl! Ahead of you lie many difficult obstacles that you will need to overcome. To succeed, you must learn to grow and become stronger. Each of you has four types of combination attacks that will gain levels as you use them. As your combo levels rise, you will be able to unleash attacks of greater destructive power. An increase in your combo level also signifies an increase in experience. However, if you do not fight, your combo level will never rise. As you proceed in your quest, your enemies will only become stronger. You will not be able to defeat them if you, as you are now. You must gain experience and raise your level before you can succeed. I know you like that voice. Everybody likes that voice because it's sexy. Great. Um, what does that do for me? At least I know how to change people. I've got to be the warrior of light or something like that. Welcome, warrior of light and companions. They say the same thing, I'm just going to keep skipping by. Now I'm going to tell you the elemental powers that you possess. Each of you have been born with a certain elemental alignment in your blood. Since your birth, the elements have guided your development. For Logan, this element is flame. For Sandano, it is magic. Hans is granted lightning. And for Lothine, it is the power of holy light. As you embark on your quest, know that your enemies too are aligned with the elements. Enemies may be weak to certain elements and resistant to others, but finding your enemies' weaknesses can kill them quickly. Upon you is also granted magical powers that symbolize the elements within you. Use the R2 button to unleash your elemental magic. I don't know why I found that funny. I guess because they're telling me to use a button, even though it's supposed to be like this crazy mist thing. When using magic, you can select a partner and combine your powers. However, keep in mind that while some magical combinations may utterly destroy your foes, it is also possible for certain combinations to have no effect at all. Thus, you must choose your combinations wisely. Finally, you must remember that using magic consumes MP, the yellow, ga the yellow gauge. Therefore, please consider your situation carefully before using magical attacks. Good to know. Now. Oops. Greetings, warriors of lightning and friends. Ah, uh, oh, fuck, I skipped something. Use square button to attack using each of your unique weapons. Press circle and square to perform a jump attack using your weapon. Take note, however, that using a weapon will consume... MP. Using your weapon consumes magic points? When your MP is low, you can refill it by scoring hits on your enemies. Finally, you can use R1 plus X to perform a unique special attack. Warrior of Flame, you can unleash earth shattering throws. Warrior of Magic, you can summon the spirits of the jungle to your aid. Warrior of Lightning, you can use the power of electricity to distort time and space. Bringing the flow of time to a halt. Oh, that's wild. Finally, Warrior of Light, you can borrow your power of, holy, of the Holy Mother to heal your allies. 
Use your unique abilities to aid each other and overcome the difficulties ahead. And finally, your weird ass. <laughs> I guess that's what I get for having an emulator with really, really slow FPS. Seriously, I'm running at like 20 FPS right now. Greetings, warrior, magic, and comrades. Forge from the shadows. Magical sub-weapons will be valuable in your quest. These weapons have been crafted to match each of your special abilities. Only by using weapons that are best suited to your abilities can you attack. Can you unlock their full power? When you find a wooden crate, destroy it to reveal the magical weapon it contains. Pick up weapons by using triangle, attack with X or square button. Uh, also note that triangle may be used as an action button in certain situations. Weapons taken from the enemy will also vary in effectiveness depending on who wields them. And that's it. Well, um, I'd say that's a good place to end for today. Don't you agree? We've gotten the basic tutorials out the way, we've gotten the basic story out the way. Uh, like and favorite if you enjoyed it. Um, I'll try to find a better emulator that runs um, a little bit quicker. Um, until then, uh, I probably won't play any PS2 games except for the really old ones that run at low FPSs anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I hope this game looks cool to you because I do hope to play it again. Um, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>